Welcome to Oh Brother, a podcast of three brothers trying to figure it all out. With your hosts, Brandon, Colin, and Aaron. On this week's show, that's not how sentences work. Hello. Ahoy. Ahoy. Are you all up to date? Apparently. I like how it doesn't tell you anything at all and then when you try to use it like one time it's like oh mandatory update sorry loser gonna take 90 (laughs) years to do this and then it's like do you want to sync with your google no i just get just give me the meeting button oh gross (laughs) ew it's not no don't do that no just want just stop i don't (laughs) (laughs) hmm so it's working now there we go Yay! Here we are. Yes. Ta-da! Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. Okay, wait. Uh oh. All right. Never mind. Are you still there? I'm okay. here. I'm not gonna push any more buttons till we're done. So, ha! Yes. Oh <laughs> no. Oh no. What happened? I was just trying to close a window, and it's like leave meeting. It's like no, 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 no. Oh, see, no, 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 no. Ah, <laughs> see, now soon you'll, you'll be muting me, and then I have to have you True. unmute yourself. See? This oh yeah, is... that mysterious thing. Yes. So now I'm just gonna minimize everything and just Stop. not touch it. That's what I'm going to do. Stop touching. Okay. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh, man. What's going on? Ah, I don't know. Well, we had we had quite a late night adventure. Um, <clears throat> oh. Uh, so, um, Kobe is an old dog oh, and no. recently <laughs> uh has been really just he just wants to go out on our back deck. We've got some stairs. He can't really go down or up those at all anymore. Um, he goes on his back on, on the back deck and he's he does his business and he's ready to come back inside. So that's fine. Every now and then we will not then we'll take him down into the yard, carry him down and do this stuff. But if it's in the evenings, he just wants to go out, do his business on the deck. We clean it up and we go from there. Right. It's just he's a small old dog and he doesn't want to go far. So yeah. We, um, he paced by the back door. We knew we needed to go out. We let him out. Um, Megan and I are, are talking. And then I go, well, I, I gotta get upstairs. So I'll go, go get Kobe. And I <laughs> step out and, um, Kobe's, Kobe's not on the back deck anymore. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, well, he is probably scampered down the steps. Um, he's in the backyard. And then I go down the steps and I turn around the corner and I notice the gate that goes across our driveway is a wide open. Uh, <laughs> there is no Kobe. Oh no. Kobe found. <laughs> and so I scampered up the steps and I said, Megan, uh, I need some help. And she's like, what? She's like, what's going on? I was like, uh, Kobe is off on an adventure. And she was like, what? <laughs> There you go. Oh my gosh. The real so question said, is how did Kobe open the gate? That's what we really need to know. <laughs> well, what had a very small had, dachshund open? <laughs> what had happened was or was it uh, a very small uh, we children. had <laughs> pulled the car in earlier and just never shut it. <laughs> uh-huh. so, that was bad on us. Bad on us. Uh and so he just so I'm like, okay, well, one, it's like really, there's a lot of leaves in our neighborhood. We live in a very mature neighborhood. There's ancient trees all around very, us. Very leafy neighborhood. <laughs> very, very leafy neighbor, neighborhood. And so I'm like, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to stop, stop and listen. And I'm going to listen. Right? Yeah. It's pitch black. I can't hear anything. And, and Kobe's, you know, he's an old dog and he's kind of unstable. So he's just going to yeah. be, you know rocking around and sh- sure enough i just hear this <laughs> and i shine my flashlight and he had made it all the way down our driveway all the way across the road and was standing in the neighbor's yard <laughs> what the heck man <laughs> did he look real guilty like <gasps> Uh, he nuts. tried to uh, run. He tried to run away from me when I got close to him. Fizz used to do that. 
It was real annoying. She would do that all the time. She would do that. She would get it out and then she would be running around the yard and like she would do that too. She never went anywhere ever. No, ever. And then every once in a while, you'd be like, all right, come on. And then she would just like take off. Like, what? Where are you? What are you? No, that's not how this works. Like, I, <laughs> I was just, just standing there. And he was just doing every everything his little body could do to just evade me, and I was like, "Oh, get back here!" Like, <laughs> oh, and he was just he was just the proudest dog in the world. His tail was wagging so much. He had gone on his little little wiener wolf adventure um, across the <laughs> across the road. Oh my gosh. I was I'm glad he made it across uh, the road safe. That's terrifying. Yeah. Now we <laughs> I will add that we do not live on a busy road. It is a side it is a side road to a side road and it doesn't get still. much traffic on it. But yes, still your heart drops whenever you see your little tiny tiny black dog in the, the dark <laughs> night <laughs> on the other side of the on road. On the other <laughs> side of the road. You're like, oh <laughs> chewing. Uh, uh, oh, uh, so, that is no good. <laughs> So angry. <laughs> so we um, bring little guy implementing some new protocols for getting him, uh, you know, gate closure, gate closure, gate, gate closure protocols. So yes, he was. Oh, oh, that just, yeah, that just happened a little while ago. Well, well how fun is that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so yeah, he came in and, and then all of a sudden, like, okay, now he's going to be restless. Like, we get him inside and now he's like, no, I can't settle down. I I tasted freedom. I got a pace. Yeah, he I'm still. Lot. He was just going, like, he's like, you could tell he was like worked up. He's ready to, he's ready to go. <laughs> Look at him. I'm going to remember this tomorrow when I got the leash out, buddy. I and know. you're like, nah, mm-hmm. I'm not going to move. I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Playing coy with me, little guy. I'm trying not to. <laughs> Try not to. I don't want to make you walk all the way down the end of the block. Get exactly. out of here. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like, we know you can now. Don't try and play this. Oh, I'm so tired us. and sleepy. Uh, pick me up. Yeah. No. No. That's it. Your cover has been blown, good sir. Yeah. Been buddy. blown. Messed up. <laughs> you notice. What you can do. So now. <laughs> yeah. It's like the superhero who's trying to. Not not uh, trying to be go under the under the radar, and they they just can't help it but catch you know the the speeding bullet or the uh uh, uh spilling uh lunch tray right at school yeah um and everyone's like oh, who's that? yeah it's exactly like that right now with Kobe <laughs> kind of you know <laughs> uh that's great yeah uh, so. I'm glad you have re wrangled him. And uh, hopefully can contain the wandering that is. <laughs> I don't. Uh, yeah, that so will. I mean, he. Yeah, he's so anyway. That, that's. We'll see what happens with that. But that was. Uh, that was just like I said. That was just like okay. I'm going to open the door and go get Kobe and do. do. Hmm. What is? <laughs> what is this? Nope. He's gone. So can happen yeah. in an instant, people happen in an instant well, i'm glad that you have discovered him he's back hopefully not to go flying away but you know it's fine <laughs> can't can't always control the wiener wolves that's know? true it's, they're very uh wily you know as yes as is known so <laughs> <laughs> anyway that's that was our our fun adventure that we just <clears throat> went on uh well uh, that's pretty exciting. I don't really know. I got <laughs> uh, everything else. We did. I uh, yeah, we haven't had any adventures. We went to the. We just went around town today a little bit. <clears throat> went to the antique mall. Did the things like that, you know, out yeah. and about. Dropped off the recycling. Not very exciting. <laughs> had a real, oh. real awkward moment at the antique store. Right, it was like this dude in there. Right. He's just like real brash and like, yo, I'm like trying to ask the dude at the counter, like how much things cost. And it's like, that's not how a T-Malls work, first of all, because like no. 
every single item in the store is owned by a different person. <laughs> so uh-huh. you can't do that. What he did, he was like being like super loud and super oh, obnoxious. He was like talking to that guy, and he, like some lady was walking by. We started talking to her, and at one point, it was really kind of funny because she was standing there doing something, and he was talking. And she just turned around and goes, are you talking to me? And he's like, yeah. She goes, why? <laughs> Whoa. Because <laughs> he was being all hateful and just ridiculous. And it was really awkward. I was like in the back of the store and I could hear him just carrying on. I was like, stop oh, making no. this not a fun place to be for anyone. <laughs> oh, I hate that's That's terrible. I mean, they're making it weird on everything. <laughs> oh, weird. It's like, what the heck? Go away, jerk. Why? <clears throat> that was fun. That was my adventure today. Weird yeah. dudes making a scene in a f- flea market for some reason. Like, I don't Whoa. know why you would. <laughs> Who knows? What a, what so a life. Weird. Yes. I was trying to avoid him because I probably wouldn't have said nice things to him. So I was like, no, I'm just going to stay back here. Hide in the corner. <laughs> Attend. Avoid conflict. Right. Don't want to be. <laughs> eh. <laughs> oh. We had um we had a uh, uh Kevin and Kyle and their families up here today. Uh oh. for an adventure. Uh where we had had lunch at the house. Um and did they run to... across the road as well. He's like, Where'd that oh, Kevin go? He's standing in the yard looking at yeah. you like what <laughs> well, okay, on that, it made me seriously think about like, do we need to, do we need to because this is like a, a lot of our clients do this with their little dogs. Uh they put um glow in the dark, like those um crack uh glow in the dark bands, whatever that you get. Um oh yeah, the little like little neon the things that, for like bracelets for kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. They they have those and they'll make little that they put that on the dog's neck for like a collar uh when they go out at night. And then ah. I'm like, I'm like, ah, I think this is what Kobe needs. But no, we didn't do that. Uh, but we did. Uh, we wanted to do a couple things. We wanted to go to the old uh, train depot uh, to go through that museum and read about some of the cool stuff. Nice. Uh, and, and I was reminded yet again what a cool town this place was back in the 30s um, and 20s. The, uh, we had an, I realized that we had an, I remembered we had an electric cable car, uh, electric cable car that went through downtown. An extensive system of cable cars here in the area nice. uh which is amazing uh and then did i tell you where like so once these these all shut down in 1935 and then the the rails were torn up and distributed about through town and as in many old towns uh these were repurposed across the city and there's a building next to us where it was built in the late 30s after this all these cable cars had been torn out and instead of doing traditional trusses for the floor, um, the of like, um, you know, playing the, the big wood, you know, big two by tens or whatever to create the small oh, games, yeah. um, they just used old lengths of the cable car railing uh, that go <laughs> underneath this building nice. to, to support it. And uh, so it's kind of cool to know like that kind of history. It's like right over there and everything. But um so yeah, we we did the the depot, um, ran around there, talked to a bunch of people, um, and then we went we went hiking um, up at the the lodge because um, Mister Mister Bothwell had lots of money uh, and he was a little eccentric, like many of the uh, uh, wealthy people back in the uh, 30s <laughs> were, right? Where they were like, I don't know what to do with all this money. Let's build a a chateau inspired lodge. In the Ozarks, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be That's great? Weird. I think like many people with too much money, anyway. I think there's like become weird, and they're just like, I don't know what to do. I know, <clears throat> build a chateau, right? This yep. like <laughs> pretty much. It's uh, it's beautiful, and now it's a, it's a, it's a state park, so you can go there and uh, and hike and see beautiful things. And while we were there, um, this limousine pulled up, and uh out then like two other cars pulled in around it and then out popped this little drone and this little drone went and it's hovering and of course this stop this is quite you know un, un, this is not something i normally encounter in my day-to-day operations and so we all stop and we're looking and i'm like i don't know what's about to happen but this 
it's gonna be kind of fun i think i, I think maybe and, <laughs> weird oh and so we all stop and the the limo driver gets out walks around opens the door and then this person starts to stand up and they have this beautiful crown and this huge huge like out of this world blue dress and then i notice that other people start getting out of the limo as well and i i grab lillian's hand i grab noah's hand and i'm like brandon's told me about this and I'm uh, like, this, <laughs> this is a kids in here uh, things are happening right uh, now uh, 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 uh. I've heard tell of this legendary time. <laughs> and so we watched this 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 young lady um and her her group. I don't know what you know if there's a technical term for her entourage that are accompanying her, but they are all um in somewhat matching attire and the yes. the cool boots. And I was like, I I come gather around people. Yeah. I have stories. <laughs> I sec I've heard tell of <laughs> <laughs> uh and it was just it was cool we were at the end of, it was at the end of our hike and so it was kind of, we were all cooling down anyway um and so it was, it was neat to see this going on and um you know everybody talking about it and seeing you know her and her and her and her day uh going going about this uh but man the photos were they were taking a very long time uh <laughs> to get everything uh yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of cool imagine. yeah so i just I was, yeah, I was like, hey, I've heard tell. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So there you go. That's where those big pictures on the tables come from. That's where, there we go. Mystery solved. Whenever you. It's <laughs> <laughs> so all the time when you walk in for the dinner part, there's like this table where you put like presents and things. And then there's just like these giant pictures everywhere. Turns out that's where yeah. they have photo shoots in the middle of the chateau, apparently. <laughs> chateau. Chateau in the fall in the yeah, yeah, yeah. On the on the edge of the cliff. Uh, nice. Yes. So uh and then and then we as we were leaving, uh we saw another family doing their fall photo shoots in the field uh, as well. And I was like, Oh, here's look, this is the popular popular yeah. place to go. Guess it reminded me the camera out. Should have got the <laughs> It reminded me of when we uh, were in Texas. Um, Texas is very well is known for its uh, bluebells, um, uh, and uh, as as named by the ice cream. And ah, uh, yes, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, bluebells are beautiful flowers uh, found in some of the native prairies and things like that of Texas. Um, and they also grow; they're very hardy as well. So they grow around the metroplex and all the cities. And so, if you go into anybody's house in Texas. Chances are you will see a family portrait of them sitting in a field of bluebells. And it's you're just like, like the median of the highway. <laughs> it is. It is in the median of the highway. So, oh, you said Hardy. I was like, oh, I bet you're just yeah. driving down the road and there's just dudes at the ditch like laying down. <laughs> yeah. And when you really think about it, you're like, these people aren't driving an hour outside of the city. No, right, I mean, they're just some, and so when be, the bluebells but... are in season, you just see cars on the side of the highway and, <laughs> and families running across six lanes of traffic oh, to God. go and take pictures in the bluebells. And the problem is, is that the cops get called on these people, and so the but the photographers are like, "You want bluebells? I got bluebells. Here's what we're going to do." And it's like this, like stealth photography, stealth photography. <laughs> right? thing, like... where it's like. Everybody runs out, they sit, they snap these photos. And so it's like, it's so funny to think of these nice, close, intimate photos and this beautiful background of the bluebells when all around it is 12 lanes of highway and like massive amounts of, of cars going everywhere in like a very, very dense urban setting. Uh, but you look at it on their little, on their kitchen counter or on their wall, their dining room, and you're like, oh, how idyllic. Oh, it's so precious. That's hilarious. That's where I, that's the stealth photography thing reminds me when we did our engagement photos, right? So a hundred years ago at this point, actually, <laughs> uh, we we were we we were driving. We were because we were like we're gonna do. The guy was like we're gonna do some here, and we'll drive over to this other place and we'll do some there, right? Blah blah. blah. And so we were just following him, you know, eh, 
And then we were going to go back to his house slash studio and do like the portrait things like in his little portrait studio that he had set up in his house. Sure. But we're, dri- <laughs> we're driving and all of a sudden he just like turns around <laughs> and pulls it into this place. And we're like, um, okay. And he was like, <laughs> he just got out and was like, right there, come here. And, and it was like the side of like some old store. Right. Oh it was like a brick gosh. wall, like an old store thing. And I don't even oh, remember down no. by Branson somewhere. And he was just like, here. Ah! And so <laughs> we just got out and we sat by the thing and took a bunch of pictures over there. <laughs> and I was really good. But like, yeah, that's how that happened. He was like, we were literally driving. And he's like, ah, <laughs> like, yanks off the side of the road. Yeah, and I, and they look fantastic. And I know in these settings where it's like you just gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, but uh, it's it was it's very funny um, to think about that in that setting of like yeah, like no one else knows that story of just exactly uh, what's what's going on uh, or whatever. But but how do you you know how do you get those cool photos? Well, sometimes uh, that's yeah. the side of the interstate or the side of some random store in Branson where. Your photographer just veers off suddenly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yep, that was that was our cool cool sighting. Uh, nice that. Um, and that was that was pretty much our day. It was a. Uh, I did not drink enough water, so I had a. Okay, Dad. I had slash have <laughs> a massive headache. Um, I tried to take a nap between the like four and five, uh, to try and get it to go away. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, why I did it again. Like, I'm just like, get busy and I'm doing all this stuff. And then I'm like, then all of a sudden I get this like a little bit of a tw- tent twang, twang in my, in my twinge? neck, tw- yeah. a twinge. Is that what I, No, a twang. Like it's a, uh, no, it's a twinge. A twang uh, is like how you sing bluegrass music. I would imagine. Dear, dear, dear. And, uh, do you yeah. does your neck all of a sudden be like wish that I was on a rocket top? Speaking <laughs> of which, speaking of which, no joke. Uh, <laughs> today, as we were waiting for our guests to arrive, I heard, I heard, <clears throat> "Hey Alexa, play Rocky Top." Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we got him. Oh no! <laughs> Susan will be greatly distressed by this. Does not. It's not a bluegrass fan. So naturally, I always do my best Bill Monroe voice uh, when I sing them because she really doesn't like the the Susan's least favorite thing about bluegrass music is the singing, like the really nasally. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she despises it with a fiery passion. So naturally, I always sing in that manner to her. Um, she loves it greatly. As uh, as one looks, <laughs> it's it's. Uh, I think it's genuinely required. Uh, at all times. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <As we, laughs> uh, so yes, I'm. So now I'm. I'm. I'm guzzling, guzzling water. Well, about to fit in some commercial breaks. This is what this uh <laughs> this episode, listeners, as Colin sprints to the bathroom from drinking gallons of water all at once. Always a good plan. Um. We, <laughs> yes. <clears throat> nothing nothing could go wrong that's what's good to know of course not about this of course not uh, uh. my week has not been very exciting just in general I mean, we haven't really done much at all uh, I realized this uh, so we're having the, the, the trauma that I'm having currently is we are <clears throat> the school, not we, the school is hosting a school carnival this year for the first time since mm, 2019, I think. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, and so, so we haven't done it in a long time. I dislike the school carnival immensely. Why? Well, I mean, I have to stay after school till like 730. So like, oh, that's not fun. I have to like do things like the grade levels have to host carnival games, right? <laughs> and so we have to do that. But uh, traditionally, 
the sixth grade, it like sells food. That's what they've always done. Uh, and this year they're like, hey, you can't sell any food. I'm like, uh, what? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> um, well, what? what are so you, the carnival the- is on Friday, next Friday. And I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so I have to come up with a carnival game this week. Boo. That I don't want to do anyway. <laughs> so it's really hard to be highly motivated and try to find like something that makes something cool and interesting when you don't want to be there. <laughs> when you're not very passionate about <laughs> when it. You're not, or you don't have, you don't care. And, and the lady, well, the lady was like, because we were joking, we're like, do we have to be there? She goes, no. And I was like, uh, are you sure about that? She's like, yeah, I'm in charge of PTSO. I can, you know, you guys don't have to come. I was like, I don't, I don't think that's true. You should probably ask about that because there's nothing that we would like more than to not come. But I don't think that's an option. No. <laughs> right. I don't think you may think you're in charge of things. That's not how this is going to go. I promise you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Turns out I was correct. Um, so I have to go. But I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't Sorry. know. I don't know what I'm going to carnival. I mean, it does. Uh, I don't know. I don't no, I don't know. know. I'm trying to figure out how I'm to. I'm going to have to look at. I'm going to have to look at the. There's a spreadsheet somewhere that was shared with me. I probably hope I didn't delete that. It's like what other people are doing. Because like I can't do those things. Obviously. But. Yeah, yeah. we always sold hot dogs. And then we were informed that you're not allowed to sell hot dogs. Is this like, is this oh. health code stuff? No, 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 no. It's because selling food makes the most money. And the PTSO organization itself wants to sell the concessions. Well, that's lame. I mean, yeah. But like... Because <laughs> doesn't all the money go to the same place? Yeah. Well, so... Except for if the whatever grade level the money makes, like, wait, hold on. That's not how sentences work. Whatever money the grade level makes, there we go. That tracks. Um, they keep it and it goes into like an expense account that they can use for field trips and stuff. Uh, oh. <clears throat> so, I, like, I yeah. I feel like that's. It's not your fault that you guys have a good thing, right? Like that's I know. I agree. (laughs) I know this. Okay, okay. I just you know Uh, this is one of those things we haven't done it in like four years. And then the people that are running it are like all new and they never bothered to ask anybody like what happened before, right? Like they I love that. Nobody bothered nobody ever bothers to ask like Hey, what happened in the past? Like, nobody cares about that. There's like, I envision this. Like, no, shh. no, no, I don't know. If you start saying the word envision, I'm out. Okay. I don't want any part of that conversation. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I envision. It's like, I envision leaving, right? How do you know about that? I'm out. So that's what, <laughs> like, nobody asked anybody else. They're just like, oh, yeah, we'll do this. <sighs> Why? So, that's not fun. I don't want to go to the school carnival because it's really not very exciting and like it's not really very fun. <laughs> and see, they're running a game, watching kids like, like throw a thing or whatever. So it's not really super exciting. So not looking forward to that. <laughs> well, I'm trying to think of ways to uh, help brainstorm this to get you some some idea. Uh, do you I know what know. you're going to have a- access to? Um, I don't even know what room I'm going to be doing this in. Like, nobody has assigned us a room. Nobody said this is where you're going to be. Like, I have no idea. It can't be in one of our rooms because they're not using our building for the thing. It's that that side of the school is going to be, like, closed. So, like, I can't. 
be in my own space. So I don't know where I am going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is also problematic. I right? it's like, I don't know where we're supposed to be. <clears throat> so. I don't really know. I don't know. And again, I have to, there's a list somewhere of like other games people are doing. So they can't have, you can't have duplicate games. Right. You know, so like, I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. You don't want to have like three people doing like Plinko. That would be Plinko. boring. <laughs> right? like, three Plinko rooms, like lame sauce, buddy. What the heck? <laughs> that would be very exciting. So I don't, I don't know. Don't actually know. No. Yeah. To come up with a carnival game this week. Which, I mean, you could do, you could, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you, I mean, do you, have you been given a budget to, to do or like, is this totally like, <laughs> I didn't know. like you have no. to, are you, are you footing the bill for this? I guess personally, I think, like, I think that's probably how it's uh, going to work. Ah, uh, although I, I imagine it, if uh, I, but yeah, I, so I want to make, obviously this needs to be something that can be made like in no time. Uh, and with no dollars. And I'm going to have to buy prizes as well. I'm going to have to buy some what? stupid, like, yeah, I'm, they're going to be like, they're going to do a thing and like give out candy. I am probably responsible for buying this stinky candy, which is lame. Oh. Because <clears throat> I'm thinking a, a, a balloon pop would be really easy. But, yeah, but then but I'm then like, need... but not because you got to get something like, yeah, you got to get darts. And, yeah. You have to get a, piece of board that you have to transport there yeah and you uh, this is things that i have currently in my possession i have some rings from something i don't really know like ring toss rings i have ring toss rings i also have a great number of ping pong balls for some reason so i feel like this is important for mm. <laughs> I feel like this is the way to go ahead here. I feel like that's ah <laughs> oh. uh, so yeah, oh, you could no well okay so you have the ring the ta- the rings but those are stationary and you just label them with different points <clears throat> and you you have to I don't know you situate those on top of something so that they have to get the ball through the ring uh, like on, mm, that could like work. A, yeah, like they have to toss it, like land something. it in the ring thing. Yeah, or uh, or have them. That could be good. Yeah, except I know the pong, the ping pongs are gonna bounce. So yeah, but they... that is more exciting. Yeah, That's harder. Because mm-hmm. if there is at least a table somewhere, that could work, right? Yeah, yeah, and either either that or, or, or roll them or something or um, oh yeah. Yeah, or blow them. You could do that. They would have to blow the ping pong from one thing to the other, and and it has to go a set distance or whatever. Like you could do that too. Like they have to or crouch you, down. Yeah, and, that's gross. It's gonna be spit all oh, over yeah, the ping pong do balls. No, I don't want to do that. Right. The whole reason we stopped having the carnival was because of COVID. I don't want to keep. I don't want COVID ping pong balls. It'd be gross. Like I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think like a ping. I think like a ping pong toss into yeah. into into buckets or something. something. Yeah. Would be would be a good idea. Uh, I <laughs> see how many different size beakers that I have. <laughs> yeah, well, because then you, you can have a like a variation of skee ball, right? Basically, yeah, of, right. You, of, you have them up there, yeah. Because I don't know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I have to look at that and see how many of those I have. <laughs> Go yes. over to the high school, be like, "Hey, you have any like the court ones, like the big ones?" <laughs> the this is this is all coming together. I like this, okay? So that would be funny. And then yeah, they could arrange them out in the thing. Uh huh. Uh huh. <clears throat> you see, because those games like throwing games are good because uh, <clears throat> number one. If you have like real little kids, you can just put them like, oh, you stand here. Right. Like real yes. close to the thing. And then whenever you have like the sixth grade kids, you go, you guys stand way over there. 
yeah, you can kind of change no the way. difficulty. Yeah, yeah. So changing the difficulty for the kids is is very simple. Mm-hmm. So that would be good. I have to rip my closet open. Okay, what? Cup shaped containers? Do I have? <laughs> Throw these in. Like the ski ball, but they could like bounce it instead. But you could still set them out, like in around. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes, yes, yeah. This is necessary. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I Maybe thinking about this. Yeah, I like this. I have a big. <laughs> I <laughs> I have a burner stand, uh... right? That has the oh. circle. They could like throw it. In there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, if you make it through the hoop, it's like the big, like put it way up high on the thing. See? Yeah, suspend it from yeah. the ceiling. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that you could do that. You could have a uh, like lab. Yeah. Science pong. I don't know how this works. <laughs> because, I mean, what's hard is to be able to judge, like, because then what I was thinking of is you could hang the 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 rings from the ceiling at different oh, heights that, and distances. Yeah, some of them aren't that big, though. Yeah, but see that that's that's the problem. And then also, it's hard to know if they actually made it through or not. Yeah. And I was like, oh well, then we gotta get a bag on the other end to catch it, and that gets yeah. a bit that that's a bit more, annoying. Yeah, than I think so you if you just have the cup that it just lands there and you go, ah, oh. yes, ta da, got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. I look for that report. Yeah, really not. Really not very excited about any of that. That's not going to be fun in the slightest. So that is. It's a battle I have. Trepidation. Well, yeah. Carnival trepidation. That's what I have. <laughs> <laughs> we we uh we started this morning by going to a train expo. Been a very rail themed day for you, hasn't it? It has. No, it, it, has. Has. <laughs> it has indeed. So, um, we this is something that's host, hosted once a year here in town. It's at our convention hall, and uh, vendors come in local and from far away to sell their wares of of train related things. Um, <clears throat> It does. It does cost to like get whistles in. Like no, 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 no. Like, like model trains. Oh, like, 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 like uh, here's you. here's diorama this. pieces. Yeah. And yes, exactly. So scale stuff things. Yes. <laughs> so this is this is the. Oh no! Here's this very rare engine from uh, something from okay. this release Got diecast you. something something thing like. But these are all they're all they are all train enthusiasts, right? Uh, ah. Very much, very much so yes. of the train enthusiast variety. So that uh see we we paid to get in to go and see everything. And yeah, it's just rows and rows and rows and rows of train. And and of course, before we left, I was like, okay, like I know it's very important that we know a few things about our current train set. Because otherwise, I'm not going to know what we're doing once we arrive. Like being very overwhelmed, so I actually had Megan sure. take take photos of like the box the train came in. I was like, "This will help." <laughs> now, it is uh, we have a um, uh, a Cato train set, which means that many, many, many of the words are in Japanese, um, which the I best don't kind, re- which I don't read. But yes, but uh, Google Translate does. <laughs> and so <laughs> but I did know that we have an we are in scale we have the in scale of train um oh good yes uh yes because uh that is that is very important that you know this know this because if you don't um things get very very awry um and but in I, I learned is not the smallest scale that is the z scale um, oh, so it goes Z N H O H O is like the bread and butter. This is what everybody does. They uh, all love H O because I guess it's like the size that it's larger, large enough to like make an impact, but also it's not so large because after H H O you get O and then large scale. And these are like the ridiculously huge 
mm-hmm. models, model trains that are operating that are like, oh, here's an engine and it's the size of half of my, you know, you know, yeah. it's, it's the size of a what, what, like feet box, long, right? right? Like, yes, yeah, yes, like, <laughs> feet long model. <clears throat> and so yeah. we have in, uh, and it was kind of cool jumping forward a little bit here is that they always have uh, train tables set up with running trains up yes. on the stage. And so they had uh, one person had a Z scale train set set up in a suitcase. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so they had a traveling suitcase that they had opened up like that clamshell suitcase type is hard. hard yeah. shell. And in it was a Z scale. And I was like, okay, that's, that's really sweet, cool. actually like that's that's a that great design. Um, and then so anyway, we, 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 we arrived and we we're looking and, and Noah had some. Uh, money from his his birthday and he knew he was like he wanted to get some one thing he wanted to get one thing for his train and one thing for his for the table um is was his was his thought process ah um, and like it. yes and so we arrive and we're walking around and um these i will let you guess the age demographics of <laughs> the vendors um, they're all uh 70 yes or, okay. or, or <laughs> yes yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they are all of a type that is what i will say oh yeah they're all old dudes <laughs> possibly wearing overalls uh-huh dude are they doing the dude, are they doing the thing where they're wearing the overall and uh, overalls in the blazer um this one no i did not oh, see a blazer okay. today unfortunately sometimes they do that too that's like overalls and like but it's not like a it's like it's like an old style blazer. Like it's not like fashionable. It's like a weird, right. it's like a weird like plaid wool thing. <laughs> uh-huh. How many pocket watches did you see today? Uh two. Oh my gosh, only two? Uh-huh. uh-huh. Now, I will say these, these dudes we were, are slipping. We were only there for 35 minutes. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so there were probably more. Yes. Were probably. they in the overalls though? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so we uh we we came in, we knew what we wanted, we needed an in scale, and Noah thought this was very easy to remember because his name starts with an in, so it's I mean, very easy to he know. is correct. That is <laughs> the easiest way to remember. This is very, very good to remember what we have. Uh because yeah. I don't if we had an HO, I don't know what we would do. Yeah. Right? Uh, <laughs> HO um home we have the exactly. home train the home, <laughs> Easy. home owners train yeah set. home owners train set oh. so um anyway we uh we we went in and uh interestingly actually this is the uh, today was the s- second day in as many days that we had gone to the the the, the, the depot here in town um because we were there yesterday uh which is fine uh lots okay, of stuff okay. to do Don't worry about it <laughs> where we learned we learned about the MKT line, the Missouri Kansas Texas rail that ah. used to run, and um, this was pretty fascinating. I like uh, how <laughs> Oklahoma, what? Nothing. Don't even no, worry about sh- it. Like it's <laughs> not real. Missouri Sorry. Kansas Texas. That's because those states border. Yes, all Wait. of them. All of them. Snugly <laughs> tight. Yeah. No air gaps. Ooh, yeah. Can you tell that Kansas and Texas don't both like, they both don't like Oklahoma. So they just yes. cut it out of the whole deal. It is a <laughs> group effort for sure. I think so. Um, and so we, we showed up and he had the idea to, he wanted to find something with MKT on it, which I thought was pretty cool that we could like, right. Like true. Like here we are. Like we learned about it. Now let's go find this. And sure enough, uh, we found several, many, many MKT uh, branded box cars and trains and uh cabooses um and of the ilk uh and like uh so we we what's tough is it is a, just a mass of stuff i mean on tables under tables and they do their oh, best to yeah. kind of have it's these things like... categorized and they try and categorize them somewhat by scale but like from anyway it's it's still very confusing to figure out like what am i looking at where do i need to go and yeah. people are asking you like oh like one lady was like oh are, are you ho and my brain was like i'm sorry what and i just pretended like i didn't hear her and i said oh i'm sorry what uh because i didn't know what she was referring to ho made no sense to me in this context and then she said are you are you are you ho and i realized 
that's a scale of train yeah, like, and nah, my brain team I, my brain, in all the way baby. yeah <sighs> said, oh no no and, oh we're we're looking for in um and she was like oh i'm sorry i don't have any of that i haven't had a chance to walk around and like, that's okay don't worry about it. i'll i'll we'll, we'll just we're just looking and so uh, we did lots of like no was stopping and, and looking and me and him holding something up and going can i get this and i was like not the right scale. And so just asking the vendors, like, hey, do you have any in? And just not being afraid to do that because it's like, yeah, uh, you know, I'm not going to, uh, that they don't care, right? If they don't have it, uh, they're going to be fine. And so yeah. we, uh, and sometimes they're like, no, but if you go down there, yes. that dude's got some. Like, <laughs> yep. And that was one guy was like, I think Donnie usually has some in from over there and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> We we found one, uh, and then of course Noah's like, okay, well here we are. I found N, and me being like, well, let's you know, let's go, let's remember where we are here, but let's go look other places. Let's go find other things, because then the other other thing is that we not all the connectors work for all of the train bottle. So oh. how the pieces connect is is not the same. Like they will sometimes generally work. But there is some, there are ones that are have a very square coupler, and then others are very round. And these you know, a little these, little piece of wire will fix that. You just kind of <laughs> it in there. all the trainees are going to hate me. I think. Yes, <laughs> like, yes you have me. anathema uh, to yeah. to this. So we um uh went and 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 found uh actually a, a Kato setup of a, a person who's oh. selling these things and I was like aha look and they had the MKT stuff and Ooh. he got very excited and then went and brought over a train engine to me and was like I would like this train engine and I said oh, no. I don't <laughs> we're not going to spend $145 right now on the train engine um that may yeah. be a future future <laughs> investment um <laughs> how about this sick box car though like, like well then we found the box car and he was all about no we found a sorry we found a caboose with mkt on oh. and his train his train does not have a caboose oh, currently there we go and so we got it taken care of <laughs> there we go i feel like i feel like i would be the worst train diorama setter upper ever right Oh, because well. mine would be like, <clears throat> I mean, well, I mean, the only, the only time, the only previous experience I have with a train set is, uh, I, I did, uh, with the help of dad, make a DeLorean to put on the train tracks. Of course. Like Back to the Future 3. So already you can see, listeners, where my brain goes. But you, I, when you just said boxcar, I was like, bro, I would just get a boxcar and then I would put it in the woods. And then I would get some little children and put it in. The- <laughs> uh huh. No, 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 no. I like I, my diary would be full of that stuff, right? It would just be. Yep. <laughs> well, and so here's weird the weird references that don't make any sense. No, nope. like I would definitely have a little hobo on my train, right? Uh-huh. Right for you know. <laughs> Or train like, hopper, like you'd have a guy that you would just move around your diorama constantly. Yeah, just move around. Oh, like that dude on like shy, like the dude on the internet, right? That I watch exactly. his little train hopping videos. Just put yep. him, get a little him, and just put him on my train. And then like every couple of days, just move him around, like put him over there, yep. like Elf on a shelf, there. but like shy and the yeah on the trail. Thing. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we were talking to this lady, and she was she's all about the in scale, but she didn't have any there. She does in her her husband is all about the H O, and so we talked about like some of the reasons and one of the reasons she likes in is because you can make very complicated dioramas. So if you are trying to add something with a ton of detail, that's yeah. when people typically do in scale. Um, really? A, a, yeah. <clears throat> H because you can, everything is very f- small and so you can pack in a bunch of it stuff. Okay. So there's a it. lot more things you can put yes, in there. Okay. You this, can may, ha- this is what yeah. I was kind of thinking, but I wasn't sure. And so she started to talk about like, oh, there's a table over there. Like you can get, and that's, here's the other thing of like, yeah, the diorama, you have to quote unquote, have to buy the appropriate <laughs> yes. s- scaled everything species. else. Yeah. Right. So like you go to a table, which we did and we found the HO scale chickens and then the N scale chickens. Um. And 
I was like, I was like, I really appreciate that. We are currently using magnet blocks to build our train station. So scale consistency is not a big concern of ours right now. Yet. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, yet. Not yet. Not yet. We're just, you know, building with this stuff and information. And so Noah, Noah's diorama, I I am really thrilled. Like he he did it all himself. Um he we get, have some gravel, so he has a quarry. Um, over on one nice. side, so he's using uh, using some trucks and dump trucks and a in a front end loader that he had to to set the quarry into place. Um, we had uh, he got a bunch of trees uh, for it was his birthday to put on the table, and so he has some trays trees displayed around. But then he also wanted to make the um, the Missouri Department of Conservation, so he he actually put a bunch he stuffed a bunch of these trees into the bed of uh, an eighteen wheeler that we had, and nice. he also has a crane. And so he he made the crane grab a hold of one of the trees, and so they they are putting up trees uh, as like part it. of the Missouri Department of Conservation, part of our um, building building out our forests here. Uh, uh, Megan's mom has a um, one of those uh, uh, Christmas um, uh, uh, town sets right oh, oh yeah, yeah yeah right that you're supposed to sound like the white cloth and whatever mm-hmm. those are over here now <laughs> for a little town nice. in one of our corners uh and he's using lego and bears and and all sorts of stuff to to build out all of the um uh rest of its rest of this stuff so um it was a uh, uh it's it's very it's a very well thought out laid out diorama and uh the one thing that we added today was a uh an in scaled oh gosh what is it um uh container like off of a container ship that that sits on one of those oh, yeah. uh uh it's and it sits it's on a trailer and it has a little um uh, little semi uh to to move it around back and forth so we have that positioned on our on our table as well so nice. it was yeah. yes it was, but it was very good very good so that was that's how we <laughs> we started our day by going to the train expo, talking to a bunch of train enthusiasts, getting an MKT line uh, branded uh, caboose, getting it on our train. And uh, so, yeah, we're ready to go. It was. I want to know. I'm looking at I'm just looking at train scale related things while you're speaking. Right. Sure. And. And I need to know, train people, why nobody just has a, there is like, what, what would make sense to me in this context of if you have this many different scales and if you have somebody new to trains and you have no idea what these things mean, right? A thing that needs to exist is a picture of like a train car of every single style next to like a ruler. That would be oh, helpful. And yes. that does not exist. There's lots of these like esoteric things, right? They talk, they have like about like just like descriptors and, and stuff like that. And then they have like a ratio. You're like, but I don't know how big an actual train is, like in <laughs> feet, right? I know I like in i i've seen them like uh-huh. i was at i drove by the rail yard today right i've seen a train but like i don't know how many feet a train car is so if you give me a ratio this does not mean anything to me <laughs> right mathematically that just doesn't yeah help at all like nowhere is there actually a measurement <laughs> right like, like why why would you not give me why does that not no. exist? Why no, it, no measurements? Ba- it is very hard indeed to wrong wrap your brain, brain people. Yeah, to wrap your brain around this because it's like again, I don't know. Same, I don't know what makes it, and the letters don't even make sense. Z N H O O S G. Like the what? Why? Why is it Z? Apparently, who knows? Yeah, I, it's <laughs> and some of the some of the scales were in fashion and out of fashion and not made anymore and so like they're more rare than other things and then like one of the guys there he makes all of his own train models now with like 3D printing um oh. and uh other things like that and I was like okay well that's cool cuz then you could just like that you know kind of sweet actually make whatever you want yeah um 
So it was, you know, it was, it was fun and just getting to to talk with, with them. And they were, let me tell you, they were very excited to see a little six-year-old boy in a conductor hat walking around. I bet uh, they were ready to buy <laughs> his train to, for his train table. <laughs> yeah. Like this is like I look me in the background. I'm not in this. Don't talk to me. Talk to this guy, right? Uh, he's in charge of this. So <laughs> yeah. what we are doing right now. Also, I just had a thought. I don't know. This is also breaking all the rules of train dioramas that I'm aware of, right? But I want you to go on this vision journey with me. Okay. You ready? Okay. The train table I'm envisioning doesn't move. Okay. So breaking rule number one of model train. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> but what would it look like? If you had a display set up where you had like different scale on the same platform to look to show like perspective. Oh, okay. right? yeah. Like an yeah. in perspective thing. It'd be like a yeah. 3D like picture where you could have you could like this stuff in the background would be like way small because it's like far away. And then all the stuff at the front is bigger because it's closer sure. to you. That'd be kind of sweet. I think so. Yeah, I try to think. I think uh, I actually think when we went to, gosh, where did we go in Kansas City? Oh no, in uh, were you the station? Yeah, at the station. They, I think they have something like this where there's like a mountain, Ooh. and up on the mountain, oh, maybe this different thing there. Maybe is that? I'm not sure because I've been in that. We went in that train room the two summers ago. Maybe yeah. there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> wild there. Uh, it's very overwhelming. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, because uh, there's a lot. Yes. But yeah, like, I know. I, oh, sorry, cool stuff. No, you're fine. There is. I I went somewhere with dad to a thing like that at one point. I don't know where it was, but I was also, I must have been very young. I don't know. Did you go? Where did you go to a train thing with me? Because like we had that train table at home for a while uh-huh. in the basement. Remember? It was real uh, official. There was like two houses and a station and a DeLorean, which is, of course, the most important part. Uh-huh. And <laughs> yes, no, it was very good. But we went to something like that. We went to some sort of thing. I feel like it was a house, but that doesn't seem right. Well, I don't know where this was. Very right for the kind of people Dad was probably connected with. That's a good point. But I don't know where it was. But I went to a thing, and there was just like model trains, like literally everywhere. And I don't. It didn't feel like a convention hall. It felt like a building or a house. Or maybe something that used to be a house, but then was like, I don't know. But I have a vague memory of walking around and there being like tons of like train dioramas everywhere. But like... Was it in South Dakota, was it? I don't... <laughs> One of those places. Oh, I don't think so. But I don't actually know where it was. Yes, this is a very to, like faint, faint memory. That's oh. like, I remember there being a lot of trains. That hmm. was all. That was... <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I'm glad Noah got to actually find something in the yes weird like swap meet style. That it sounds like it was because in that kind of environment, it's sometimes really hard to like actually find something that you want, right? Or that you could use, like you said, if like everybody wants the HO, then like that's the one that is going to be the most prevalent. You're like, but I want this one. Dang it! Uh-huh. <laughs> like yeah, two things, right? That's a that's that sucks. Yeah, and, and again, that was just part of that uh, having that conversation with everybody of like. And and because they're open about it. Um, oh yeah. Uh, uh, because you know they want to make sure. Like one guy was even like, "Are you uh, you looking for trains today?" <laughs> and you know, it's a good good question. He wants to know. Like, are you actually engaged in something, uh, or are you just walking around? So yeah. um, I'm not this guy though, right here. I did. I was like, I was like, yeah, you know, here, so I could start a little bit of conversation, but then having Noah, um, pick out his thing, go then helping him count out the money about what he would need and walking it down to the person and having, Mm -hmm. you know, do the exchange and everything. So yeah, he's very, very pleased. I need to 
should actually send a send you a photo of what he I, I didn't get a photo of his um uh little um uh, uh oh gosh little Pat? uh no the container I didn't get oh, a picture of that thing <laughs> but uh but you can see his little MKT on the line and a little bit of the the diorama which is very full of of things. Hey, that's um, all right. That's important. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah. And my diorama would have like a crash train off on the uh-huh. side somewhere, right? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like in, weird in, thing. In this in this photo that I'm sending you, you can see the front back of the front end loader on the left side with some of the quarry rock sprayed. Uh, oh yeah, the front. Okay, and then like you it. can see over on the right side, uh, <clears throat> you can see all those little bears and Donald yes. Duck line up. They are on the platform. Uh, they are the train. Are the Lego are. trees. I approve of this. Message. Yes, this is very <laughs> yes, <there's>... important. <laughs> oh, that was the other thing. There was a um, a guy who had built an entire uh, train table out of Lego. Yes, uh, this so, is the correct uh, answer. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We came up and we were looking and looking, and when Noah saw this, his like his like the two pillars of his world were like <laughs> like just come, coming together. together. Right? He was just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean you can do both at both the same time? time? Exactly. What is this <laughs> wizardry? <laughs> so it was pretty. Uh, it was pretty neat. Uh, to go and see everything, and again, these you know guys, guys and gals there, they were they wanted people to to have fun and be engaged and everything, and um, so yeah, I uh, I yeah, I can't, you know, that's a that is an extremely niche hobby, right? Uh-huh. And so, like, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's a thing that was like extremely popular once. Uh-huh. Right. And like, I feel like a lot of the people in the hobby were on that wave, like the initial wave. And then that was it. Right. It's really hard to get, you know, new, you know, they probably don't often get like a lot of new people in, into the training hobby. I'm not real sure about this. This is all <laughs> speculation. Yeah. I don't know how to, I don't know how to, I Google like how many people? There's a lot of tables. Holy cannoli! Yeah, it was. I just sent some more photos over, and uh, it's it's it was a lot, and that was all it was. That's all it was. It's just these the white tables with just rows and rows and rows of these little yeah. boxes with stuff in them. Like it's um, it's insane. That's cool though. It's good that. You know, exist, but yeah, it's weird that yeah, I don't know, I don't know how common that is of a hobby. Again, I don't know if you can Google that answer. Or I don't know if that exists, but <clears throat> it's very interesting because <clears throat> it's a very certain, it's a very niche thing. Like it, it's like engineering buildy, but also like very arts at the same time because like you, it's uh-huh. like about the setup, right? It's about the table. It's not about just the train itself, and like not the mechanical working of the train. It's about like the diorama piece uh, you know uh, what i mean and like the moving parts and how it all looks together yep it's <laughs> there's it's it's very intricate and then you get the people who like the collecting aspect right so that's, that's your thing um or the history is the, the history aspect of it um apparently according to trains.com and um gauge forum uh, of course. Because I, I keep <laughs> I keep using scale and that is wrong, people. I am sorry again. Model trainers don't write in. I recognize my error. Um they're not scales of H N H O T T whatever. These are gauges, obviously. Uh, obviously. obviously. <laughs> and but, uh but confusingly the, the everything it's the gauge and then it's listed as a ratio, which would make yeah. me think it's a scale. Scale. Shh. Okay, sure. Sorry. Okay, don't think about it. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Don't overthink it. <laughs> uh, the research I'm pulling here is there are about 500,000 people uh, in the market of model trains with that's an average many. age of 56. I was going to say, that's not very many people. Nope. Nope. But they, the market... <laughs> that's like a Springfield number of people. <laughs> yes, that is, that is a lot. So <laughs> my other question here is the... 
the 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 market cap of this is four hundred and fifty million dollars. What's the... that? Well, so that well, think about this. Um, again, one one engine that was brought to me that was a used engine, not not used, not 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 new. Um, by my son was one hundred and forty five dollars. Um, so all this means is that each year these half million people spend roughly a thousand dollars on their on their sets Oof. which which isn't in the grand scheme of things like a ton of money because this also includes yeah the trains but the tracks the electrical systems the lighting the trees the diorama the boards like there's a lot of accoutrements that go along with this yeah that's true but that's that's wild. Hey, there's also a Ozarks Model Railroad Association. Oh, you missed their show. It's in. Oh no. Hey, save the date. Okay, tell Noah to save the date. September twentieth and twenty first, two thousand four. Uh, the Springfield version of this at the Ozark Empire Fairground. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. Door prizes, baby. There you go. We That's had, what's yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, we had uh, we had door prizes. We did not win any, unfortunately. Well, you know, I don't think I've ever won a door prize ever. So this isn't surprising. But mm. I do- <laughs> oh. so, yeah, we'll we'll continue plugging away at this. I uh, I think before before we before we jump off here, uh, you had a. a a, a poem of sorts. Oh, that's uh, right. That Colin to challenged me to yes. write my haiku. I don't remember quite exactly how this came up, but there was it has to do with the vast number of crickets in my oh, house. Yes. yes, they're everywhere. Uh, there's less of them, I think now, but <clears throat> still, after you captured them all and put them in boxes, to fight I did later. not put them in boxes. I vacuumed some of them up oh. because they were dead everywhere. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair. fair. So. Uh, so I have been inspired because <clears throat> crickets often associated with fall. Who knew? Not me. Uh, and just sort of in parallel with everything. In my, it's like one of those. It was what was that thing. What was that? What was that thing where like if, once you start thinking about something, you like see it everywhere. You know what I mean? That internet uh, effect, right? You know what I'm talking about? Oh yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I don't remember the name of this, but like. Crickets have just been appearing everywhere in my life lately, right? I played through, I was playing that video game, playing Lies of Peace. Obviously, I have Jiminy Cricket right here with Pinocchio. Oh. Today, at the at the, the flea market, I saw like the Pinocchio record. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. It's the like Disney record thing, like the story of Pinocchio on vinyl. <clears throat> Crickets all over my house. It's fall time. <clears throat> Although you wouldn't know it by the weather this next coming week. Nope. Stinking Pizzeri week. Yeah. Um, Side note on that, the heater in my classroom was not working. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, yeah, Ugh. yeah, that's fun. So uh, at the beginning of the year, right, the air conditioning wasn't working. And so now, went to go turn the heat on the other day. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> so it was like 55 Perfect. degrees in my classroom. Oh, no. <laughs> and so they had to bring me some like space heaters, right? They brought a couple milk barn heaters from the ag building, right? But uh, they figured out that just they never finished connecting all the wires to the thing, right? Mm-hmm. And the guy was like, uh, the maintenance team was like, yeah, we just never, uh, the guy thinks he never uh, connected the heating wires. And I was like, well, you know, that does kind of make sense because who's worried about checking the heater when it's 105 degrees outside, right? <laughs> like, it makes sense. <laughs> Not real. I'm just real worried about. Oh man, I got to make sure that works. So again, fall crickets everywhere. Pinocchio references showing up in my life all over the place. So <clears throat> written a haiku, right? So James May, watch out. Haiku battle ready. This was <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think my syllabic count is correct. So here we go. My cricket inspired haiku, ready. <clears throat> Crickets quickly crawl. 
wind and rain lash the window. Leaves still on the grass. <laughs> Thank you. That has been my <laughs> I like it. <laughs> this is perfect. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. There you I go. think you did. Uh, I think I think, got, I think you nailed that. Yes. That, uh, that had count. the syllabic count. I have the nature references. I have the juxtaposition in the first and last lines where we have quickly moving in it. Lying still. Crazy. Look at that. Boom. Oh, hit all still. the... Hit all the... Not all. Hit a couple of the <laughs> haiku. <laughs> no, all of them. All of them perfectly. No issues there for sure. Yeah. Hey. It's about- <laughs> well done. I like that. <laughs> they, they, that's, that was perfect. I, there we go. Yes. Okay. Now we'll turn this into a, uh, a literary podcast next. Okay. We'll I mean, we're already two books in. You know, pretty much. Got a haiku going now. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. All this is the, the first installment, right, of our of yeah. our annual haiku challenge. There we there go. go. That's all you have to say, and then it becomes yeah. a thing. It's true. <laughs> as long so, as I we'll be waiting for we'll be waiting for yours at a future date. Yes. Um, and we, you know, okay. may or may not be train related. Who knows? But that's we'll <laughs> okay. So the gauntlet's been thrown. <laughs> Collins train haiku. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, we'll, just, we'll just this is the thing we do now. We end each episode with a haiku, and that's oh dear. Oof. Oh no. Maybe maybe Hold that's on. not a good idea. Maybe not each episode. <laughs> yeah. No, every single one. Uh, maybe it's not every single one. Now. I don't know yep. about that. It's part of the format now. Maybe too sometimes. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Maybe sometimes, but po- possibly never again. Who knows? <laughs> but possibly never again. That's true. <laughs> Wait and find out. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> and on that mystery. <laughs> <laughs> with that cliffhanger. Who knows? Yes. We'll see. <laughs> Will end. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye.